Today we're looking at example three, building a table with two input variables out of section 6.1, evaluating and graphing functions of several variables out of business calculus and Excel. Instead of computing variable values one at a time, we're gonna construct a table and look at a variety of values for our two input variables. We'll look at, in this case, how much money we need to put in the bank to have a desired amount at a future time. Our basic equation is the beginning balance is the final balance divided by 1 plus the rate. Rate is as a decimal raised to the number of years. I'm going to want to have rate be going down one direction and years be going in the other direction in building a table. So we're going to look at references that are absolute in one direction and relative in the other. I set up my basic table my rate is going from 5% to 6% in hundredths of a percent, and my years are going from 5 years to 40 years in tables of 5 years. I have my basic formula. If I look in, I've filled that in in the first cell. It's worth looking at the formulas in a bit more detail. One of the things I notice is that B, the beginning balance, is a fixed number. It's the cell that's in B1. It's going to stay the same no matter how I copy it. B2 is the number, of, B2 is the initial rate. And what I'd like to happen is that as I copy down, I keep looking at row two, but as I copy over, I'm going to want B2 to change to C2 and then, then D2. Similarly, if I look at A3, a3 is the number of years, and currently it's 5, but when I copy down, it's going to go up. But as I move across into the various columns, I'm still going to want the same years. So if I look at this one cell and copy down and copy across, we notice that B1 stays B1, B2 stays B2 if I go down, but turns into C2 as I go across. A3 stays A3 when I move across, but changes to A4 as I go down. I now can simply take this and copy down the length of my table. I'm going to lift it up so that I can see. I then am going to copy across the width of my table, and this fills in all the formulas. At this point, I want to go back and unshow the formulas and see the values. And what we see is, for example, if I want $100,000 and I get 5% interest and I'm keeping it for five years, I need to put $78,000 in the bank. However, if I'm keeping it 40 years, I only have to put $14,000 in the bank. And if it's 40 years and 6% interest, that drops down to $9,722. This lets me build a table in two directions. And the important thing of what I'm doing is notice that I'm using absolute references sometimes and references that are absolute in one dimension and relative in the other dimension. Thank you.